Hi everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching this mosaic effect. Now this effect right here does take quite a while, and uh, but it's such a great effect, great for your images and stuff like that. Um, this tutorial is going to be split up into parts because it is very long um, and it takes quite a lot of time. So I'm going to be skipping through a bit um, just so you know the basics of what to do. Um, but you will grasp the full effect on how to make it through this tutorial. So let's get started. So first things first is we're going to need a image to work on. Now I use flowers for instance on this one. Um, so you can find any picture that you want that works well. Um, the picture I'm going to be working on is a lily, this one here. And if you want to work on that one that I'm going to work on, I'll put in the source files along with some other bits that you might need uh, for this tutorial that you can download off my website. So first of all is we're going to need to make a new uh, document. So we're going to go to file, we're going to go to new, and we're going to set uh, to millimeter and we're going to set the width to 2 AE and the height to 230 and DPI mean resolution is going to be 300 and then click OK and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring our image into this uh, document right here you can drag and drop from you know my pictures or whatever but at the moment I already have the image in another place on my Photoshop so I can just drag and drop like that now I'm just going to go and close a few of these that I don't need that's the finished effect that we're actually going to get so if I just close that one and that one. Now, once you've put it into this document right here, we're going to hit Control and T to free transform, and we're just going to drag it out so it's the full width and height of this uh, backing. And then click the tick. Now, once it's done there, uh, we're going to go to Filter, we're going to go to Blur, and we're going to go to Surface Blur. Now we're going to put the radius to 78 and the threshold to 33. Now what this does is it dampens the colours down and smooths everything out. Um, so, it, so it works well for the tiles. So I'm going to hit OK for that one. And then we're going to go to a layer after it's processed. Depending on your computer speed, depends how long it takes. Um, hopefully this won't take too long. Hopefully it'll speed up any time now. Not normally like this, just because I've been doing some other work. Come on. And there we go. Layer. And we go to Layer Mask. And Reveal All. And if you look in the Layers palette, we've got this white masking layer right here then from here we want to double click this layer to bring up the layer style we're going to hit bevel and emboss on the structure we're going to put in a bevel the technique is going to be chisel hard the depth is going to be 113% and the size is going to be 9 the direction is going to be up and then you want to make sure that you've got contour and texture clicked on and then click OK next we're going to go to the layer style again so double click that layer and we're going to go to texture so you click the texture icon now I've already got this loaded so what you want to do you probably haven't got this loaded so you want to click on the drop down menu now if you have already it will be called black marble now if you haven't we're going to go to the little uh, arrow on the right hand side here and then you're going to click rock patterns now click that and then you're going to click OK when that comes up now I don't need to do that now the scale is going to be 100 and the depth is going to be 18 like that 
and then click OK. Now what we're going to do now is uh, make the brush for our tile effect. So if we go to File and click New, then we're going to change the millimeters to pixels. It's going to be width 200 and the height 200. Then click OK. Then we're going to go to the Paint Bucket tool on the left hand side. Make sure you've got your color set to black and then turn that all to black and then we're going to go press the X key to change to white and we're going to go to our paintbrush right here now just having a very small brush go and select the brush like that not a soft brush particularly a hard brush actually and then just take away some of the edges just in the corners like this and then we're going to go to select select all and we're going to go to edit and then we're going to go to define brush preset now it will come up the brush name you can name whatever you want I'm going to put tile 2 like that we're going to go back to our image and we have this right here. Now you can click to see what it looks like but we're going to go back. Now if you haven't uh, made the brush uh, to your exact standard that you want because um, so, it's all going to be different at the end of the day I will uh, put in a brush so you can just automatically upload it to Photoshop and you can use my brush that I created for this um, technique so if you want that uh, it's going to be in the source files on my website that for you to download so if you need that just go and download it now what we want to do once you've got the brush I'm going to set my brush to my main one if I can just find it just there we go that one now and we're going to scale the brush right down we're going to zoom in now all we're going to do is click the layer mask and we want to make sure that we have uh, the black on and then just go around the outline of the flower now what you can do is if you zoom out if you have a green background you can also make leaves out of them so but I already have a leaf right here so if I wanted this leaf I just go around this one like that now this takes quite a bit of time to get right I'm just going to do this very quickly just to show you and for the rest of that you want to go around the whole of the flower just the outlines not the inside at the moment and uh, we're going to move on to step 3 now what we're going to do is we're going to paint out the bits of the picture that we don't actually want so if we increase the uh, brush size uh, to around 150 and all we're going to do is keep with the foreground color to black and we're going to make sure that we've clicked on our layer mask and we're just going to take out the bits that we don't want making sure we don't actually hit the flower as we've made a moat around the flower so we don't hit it now I'm just going to speed this bit up um, because I've already done this and it does take quite a while to take all the bits out so if I take this out and there we go now once you've done uh, all of this what we're going to do is we're going to go and right click on this layer and we're going to go copy layer style I'm going to make a new blank layer you can do this by going to the bottom right hand side and clicking the new layer icon and we're going to right click on that new layer I'm going to go to paste layer style then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go 
to change our foreground color. Now our foreground color can be any color that you want. Uh, what this is going to be is going to be our um, color for our backing and for our tiles. So you choose whatever color that you so wish. I'm going to go for a blue, sort of greeny blue. So the code for this one, if you do want to follow me onto the same picture, is going to be seven five c six b f there we go okay and we're going to go and click ok and we're going to change our background color to a brighter bluey green so somewhere around there that's 1ddcc3 uh, the code for that color and then click ok now once you've done that, we're going to go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. And then we're going to go to Layer, Layer Mask, and Hide All. Now you'll find that you've got this black layer mask right here. And we're going to go and change our brush size to... 175 you can change the brush size by going to the top uh, right hand sorry left hand side and we're going to go uh, to make sure that you've got the layer mask clicked and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the brush panel you can find this on the right hand side and we're going to go to brush tip shape and we're going to make sure that the spacing is set to 1. We're going to go to Shape Dynamics. Make sure that the size jitter is on pen pressure. And the angle jitter is set to 3%. We're going to hide that. Now what this does is it tilts uh, the brush every time. So you get a different variation of tiles. So it doesn't look all the same. It looks totally different. Which is the effect that we're actually trying to create. So the step right now is takes a little uh, while is we're just going to go around the edge. Make sure that you've got uh, white set to your uh, foreground color. Make sure that you've got the layer mask selected, the black one. And then just go around all different. Just go around the edge for now. And you can turn down the paintbrush for smaller bits like that and I'm just going to go around the edge like so. Now uh, once we've done that we're going to go on to uh, step 4.